Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your first GitHub repository, then link it to your VS code to then be able to change files on your computer and push them back to the GitHub repository. So I'm going to show you how to do this for your own private repository. Let's go to github.com. And I assume you already have an account made, so I'm not going to do this for you, but make an account if you don't have one, then click on sign in, choose your GitHub account, uh, type your password, sign in, and then you can go up here on the right to your repositories. And you can see an existing repositories. If you don't have one, click on new up here in, in green. So let's create a new repository. We're going to call it best repo ever. Some description, this is optional description, and we'll make it private because Doing it for a public repository is even easier. If you can do it for a private repository, you can definitely do it for a public repository. Let's add a readme file. It's just going to be a file that describes the project and create a repository. You can also create the repository on your computer and then push it to GitHub, but I think this is way easier and it's going to allow you to do it much quicker. So now you have this repository with the readme file that has some text in it. We can change it on github.com. This is not really the purpose, but we'll change it on our computer later. So some text written on github.com. Let's commit those changes. And then first commit done in the browser. Okay. So now if we go back to our repo, this is now the new text. But what we want to do is we can want to pull this or clone this repository onto our computer, change files on our computer, and push them back to the GitHub repository. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's open Visual Studio Code. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is go to source control and clone repository. So we've done this before in a previous video. I'm going to, on github.com, click on the green button here, and I'm going to use HTTPS for now. Click on copy URL to clipboard. This is our repository URL. Go to Visual Studio Code. And when we click on clone repository, we can now paste the URL here, select it. And now Visual Studio wants to log into GitHub for us and we're gonna allow it. Authorize Visual Studio Code. And we open VS Code and select the destination folder. So you need a folder on your computer where we wanna clone this repo too. We've done this before. so. Let's open that. And we're going to put it here next to the other ones. And you see down here, it was downloaded very quickly. We can, we can now open this repository directly in Visual Studio Code. And here's the readme file as it is right now. So some text written on github.com. So now let's add a new line saying some text written on my local computer. Okay, so now we have a change. You see this in green here, and we can now save this file. Save. And now we can go on source control again on the left side here. You see a little one? This means there's a pending change. So we're going to open it. And this is the file that changed. And the first thing we need to do is we need to add this file to the staged files. So there's a little plus button here. So we're going to click on it, and it's going to stage this change. So it's going to tell Git to make this change ready to be pushed to the repository, basically. So we're going to click on the plus. And now you see it moved from changes to stage changes. We can move it back by clicking on the minus, but we want to commit it. So committing means we're telling Git that this change is final, more or less, and we're going to add a message to our changes. So some commit message changed line of text in readme file. So you basically explain what you did. And now I'm going to click on commit and it gives me this error message. So if you haven't done this yet, you have to set up your username and user email in Git. So we can do this on the command line, for example, in Visual Studio Code. So we're opening a new terminal and now we're going to do git config minus minus global user dot name and then your name. And then we're going to do the same thing for email some email at gmail.com, which is a fake email, of course. And now hopefully it should work. And it did the commit. 
And now I'm going to sync changes and click OK. And that's it. So let's go to GitHub and see that the changes have arrived. Okay, so this is now the readme file of best repo ever. And you can see there's now the new line, some text written on my local computer. So that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching and see you next time.